Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. House of Virgo, let's get into your reading right away. See what the messages are for <clears throat> March. We're going to take a look at March, a little bit of the end of February into March. What does Virgo need to know? What messages does Virgo need to know for the month of March 2023? Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus? Okay. So, oh, you have Ice Queen again. <laughs> Virgo's like, mm -mm, cold as ice. Here is cold as ice. Being very discerning in March for sure. Maybe you're getting like a blizzard or a big snowstorm coming your way for some. You might live in a very snowy, cold area as well. Let me see. What else do you have? Okay, but you also have fun times, parties, events, and having fun. Good. Okay. Um, ice queen by day, party girl by night. Okay. Let me see here. Some concerts, maybe attending a concert, some of you, or some kind of an event. Oh, you also have passion, chemistry, and a passionate feeling. All right, Virgo, I like this energy. I feel like you have a few different things going on here for March. I mean, you're definitely um, giving some cold shoulder <laughs> energy out in March, but I also seeing you having a good time as well. Um, hmm. Some of you might meet someone also at an event at a party where there's like huge chemistry or romantic, passionate type feelings. Okay. You also have career. All right. What's happening here? You got a lot of different things going on, Virgo. Business success and advancement. Okay, Virgo. So your career seems to be on top of the list also. Um, in March, a lot of you just focusing on your passions connected to your career, having a good time. Uh, it looks like you're being an ice queen in when it comes to love or maybe to, towards a particular person. Let me see. Let me get one more. Let's see what other message. Um, some of you also have someone that you might work with where there's some strong chemistry between the two of you and there's a getting together an event with someone. Or connecting with someone, having fun with someone. Okay. All right. They gave you two dating and an open relationship. Okay. Well, open relationship, no commitment, casual openness, dating, whining, dining, romance. So there wouldn't be really a commitment yet. Someone that you just start dating. Um, so I definitely feel like Virgo, there's definitely somebody on the horizon here in March for you. Okay. There's a dating opportunity, um, getting to know each other, spending time dating, but not it, it's too soon. So it feels like it would be somebody new. So it's kind of like too soon to be in a committed, to make it committed yet. Um, but I want to do a Celtic cross for you. Okay. And see what the energies are going throughout the rest of the month the past okay your present you got hermit the hermit okay driving you ten of cups crowning you seven of cups near future the three of swords you and your advice the ten of pentacles um external to you judgment page of pentacles hopes and fears and the five of swords and the four of cups the position of the outcome okay so virgo six of swords energy you're definitely making some kind of transition maybe relocating coming out of your comfort zone in a lot of areas um, that's the overall message here's the ace of swords somebody there's some type of truthful conversation with a fire sign okay that's the overall message could be clarity giving clarity telling somebody you're moving or you're moving out or you're moving forward either with or without them, okay? The past energy, though, is the Eight of Wands. So it feels like there was a, uh, something that uh, someone that maybe you connected with in previously where it moved very quickly. Um, this can be like a lot of love bombing energy, but it moved very quickly in the past. There was a lot of positive messages or communication, 
back and forth with someone. Yep, Ace of Swords again. Um, something felt like it was true, okay? Uh, Two of Pentacles, so there were some options being weighed. Somebody made a decision in the past um, that they wanted to... Feels like... Um, It feels like there was someone in the past who was kind of juggling you and somebody else. And I feel like they gained clarity and um, came in your direction, maybe chose to be with you or connected with you in the past. Um, got rid of another person. Yeah, Page of Cups. So definitely somebody was sweet on you in the past. But right now, <laughs> Virgo, you're in hermit mode. You're reflecting. And I feel like with the Ten of Cups driving... And the Seven of Cups crowning down, this is kind of like, do I want to be in this committed relationship or do I want to be in this relationship anymore? Um, or do, or, like, did somebody ghost? Is it, did, like, you, you might have been ghosted and now you're probably rethinking, like, do you even want somebody back? Okay. And then uh, there's also an energy right now where it's like, do you want to be in this happily ever after situation or would you rather just see what your other options are i feel like this is the energy playing out right now let me see what's crossing you what is the challenge for you virgo what is the challenge for virgo what's the blockage is what i mean okay yeah for trying to find balance i feel like virgo you are Either you're not sure if you want to stay in this particular relationship that you are, you might currently be in or were in, or even fuss over it any longer. Um, you're contemplating, you know, do you want to keep your options open or do you want to try and try and see if you can find someone to bring you um, this long-term emotional happiness, or do you want to just stay single and just date? and not commit to anything really just focus on your career or, or things like that right i do want to get another card here i want to clarify the hermit because this is you virgo showing up in the center of your reading okay huh king of swords well yeah for some of you it's an air sign some of you are asking can you really find happiness success um, victory with an air sign you know you're you're in contemplation mode right now you know you're kind of it feels like the challenge for you is to just let everything go and um, let the divine work it out for you right um, it looks to me though going forward you're going to end something it's going to take a lot of courage and strength um, throughout the month of March that you're going to like like I said get up the courage maybe have a conversation here with someone and tell them that you're breaking something off that you're not even going to go forward with this person um are you you know what I mean like you, it, it seems like Virgo it could be a Leo as well but it feels like what I'm seeing here is you're done with some even if there's a relationship that's ended, you're done with the energy or whatever's left over. Like you're tying up all the loose ends here. Yep, and going out and exploring on your own what your path is going to be and to see what else is out there. You're searching for your ninth cup. You're not sure. I don't know if it's that you, you don't know if you'll ever find that, but I definitely feel like you're not giving up hope. That's for sure. Um, your advice right now is to stay focused, um, to surrender and stay focused on, it feels like the things that are real in your life, like in your surrounding areas, okay? And focus on stability, that's your advice. You know, once you end something here, it feels like focus on your family, give time and put make the effort with family and friends in your career and your job, okay? Um, this really just feels to me like you're kind of on the fence here and in March you're making a decision about letting someone go or letting a relationship go, you know, for good, cutting it off, being done with it, okay? 
So whoever this person is, or, um, you know, that's external to you, they have the judgment card. Let's see what's going on there. Okay, so it feels like this person um, is going to be opening up. Maybe trying to reconcile. Okay, yeah. So, you know, it almost feels like this person, they know it, if with this, okay. With the Eight of Pentacles reversed, this person knows, I feel like, that they were very inconsistent in your life, okay? Or with this relationship. Very inconsistent, not really putting the effort in, maybe just being kind of lazy and putting the effort in other areas of their life. But this is a card, like they had a lack of focus or ambition, but this is a card of um, repair, doing repair work. And I feel like this person is will be sitting in the position of wanting to repair and fix this relationship. I feel like um, if you end it, I don't know if it's because you end it or just because that's the energy they're in. Um, if you haven't ended something yet, it, it I see them presently and throughout the month of March realizing here that, you know, they come into their senses with judgment. This is basically like, um, it's a bit of a clarity wake up call kind of thing that they need to they need to do their part to repair or fix their end of a relationship here. Okay. Um, now I don't know who this person is. Like I said, it could be an air sign, it could be any sign. It's someone from the past, or that you might still be connecting with them. All right, let me see. I want to see what else is going on with this person because it looks to me like they want to fix it. They want to repair it. They want to open up, bring clarity, try to heal it. Um, I look at that flag there. That feels like the Red Cross. That's like emergency help, healing, coming to the like aid. <laughs> um, maybe this person's in England or the UK somewhere. Let me see. Oh, a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, yeah, there's a Knight of Cups, you guys. So, well, Virgo, it definitely feels to me like, you know, they want to come in and try to fix something here. Now, of course, as always, I always give the caveat, if that's not something you want, then that's not something you want. You don't have to do anything. Um, because I do feel like you've got, like I said, you, you have the Ice Queen again. So I feel like... <laughs> You're like cold. You're numb to something. Maybe some of you feel like something can't be repaired. If anything, I definitely feel like you're going to table everything with someone here and just go see what else is out there, what the other cats are doing on the other side of the fence, so to speak, you know, which means dating, going out, having fun and things like that. Um, like I said, if you're not in a relationship with this person and you're done with it, um, it's just an energy shift where... You have this residual leftover of hope. And I feel like you're probably, some of you are going to like break your own heart, um, whatever the residual is, so that you can overcome something here and move forward. It's almost as if like gaining the courage and the strength here to be honest with yourself um, and not gaslight yourself about um, what could be. And it's also about self-respect and loving yourself, really. Um, and so I definitely feel like going through the month of March, you're going to be changing that. This person, though, I have to tell you, coming in with the Knight of Cups and the Nine of Wands, there's definitely this person's like stepping back and saying to myself, saying to myself, it's not me saying, I'm not trying to date you, Virgo, saying to themselves, I need to come in with a solid offer. I need to come in and make that offer to Virgo. That Knight of Cups, again, um, make that romantic proposal. You know, this person knows, they know. Um, and sitting there with that Nine of Wands is, you know, basically like somebody who's, um, you know, just very like blocked very blocked they're very blocked energy you know maintaining very high walls high boundaries and they've done that and they've done that as a form of the protection for themselves they didn't want to get hurt um 
they might have been hurt by others. I don't know what the issue is and who the health cares. You know, everybody's got problems. But it feels like with this Seven of Pentacles here, really contemplating um, coming in and with sincerity and truth, maybe some gifts, trying to have a reunion with you here. Um, wants to revisit the past when things were good. Okay. Oh, Virgo. So... Your hope here is that, you know, this person thinks of you. You're hoping that they don't forget about you. You're hoping that they um, weren't lying when they were trying to put you up on that. Like when they, I don't want to say put you on the pedestal, but you're hoping that they were truthful and honest and sincere um, about their feelings and their thoughts about you. Okay. And you, you hope that they weren't trying to pull some uh, tricks out of their hat. Uh, for some reason, there's a trust issue here, okay? But you're also in the position of hoping that you're going to be able, like, it's like, I feel some of you, you have your ideas and ways and things that you want to manifest. And I feel like you're really hoping that you'll be able to take those ideas and really, like, roll them into your everyday life and really begin to make these things happen, okay? Even though... You're walking by the light of the moon. There's not enough light. So you're kind of feeling your way through the dark at this time in your life. And it's a little bit scary. But I feel like you're, you're trusting your senses. Do you know what I mean? So it's kind of like you're, you're reading the room. You're reading the, the life situation. You're sensing things. That's kind of how you're going. You're walking blindly here into this new... Um, you've already taken a risk here by um, going off on your own. And now it's like, okay, you have all these plans and ideas, but you don't really know how to manifest them. You don't have all the information you need. So you're kind of going by your intuition and hoping that you'll be able to kind of wade through this dark water and try to figure out, you know, what path you want to go. All right. So your outcome here is, hmm. Well, you've got the five of swords and you have the four of cups. Okay. All right, Virgo, I feel like you're going to be really surprised because whoever's making these love offers to you, and I feel like this person has been trying to make love offers to you over the time that you were together to some degree. Um, I don't know what happened, what made you go from things being really good to you stopping to contemplate whether or not to keep going forward. But I am going to ask here because... What is this surprise? Some of you don't expect this person to fight for you, but I feel like they're going to. Um, okay, there's the answer here. There was a lot of secrets and a lot of withholding. <clears throat> the high priestess. Um, it feels like there's a lack of transparency in the relationship, you know, unanswered questions and a lot of doubts. Um, and perhaps you like this person was very secretive and it looks like you were trying to figure out like what was going on you you, you were left out in the dark that's kind of what I feel yeah and here's the king of wands again so there could be um a connection to a fire sign like I said or an air sign um yeah Virgo it, it feels to me like this is a tough reading for you because I feel like do you love this person? Yes. Enough that you had to break your own heart to let them go? Absolutely. Okay. Um, but I definitely feel like this person is sitting in this position here right now of getting real with themselves about... It feels like taking accountability for their role in the connection. Okay. Okay. Um, and wanting to repair things, okay? Judgment is here. So this is opening up and, and revealing things, whereas before, things were not being revealed. This person was very secretive or quiet or, um, you know, being very mysterious and, and, and not really giving you full transparency and full disclosure of things. Okay. So the Four of Wands here. Um, some of you might have already gotten engaged um, and there's a rethinking process into this whole relationship now because of some secrets. Virgo, I do feel like this person is going to come in. Like I said in yesterday's reading, I felt like this is the year that you will be 
um, coming into union and partnership with someone. Is it your past person? I don't know. For some of you in this reading, yes, it is. For those of you in yesterday's reading, it's 50-50. I don't see you really getting into anything serious with anybody new because you are... Um, you have the ice queen <laughs> still you're not really letting anybody in and you're kind of like okay well we'll meet and have fun and yeah, get to know each other and date but you're not committing to anything you don't really want to commit to anyone just at this time um, not because of another person but because I feel like for you you're trying to manifest these really awesome things in your life and you're staying focused on that but yeah I feel like this person is going to come in with a surprise offer <clears throat> and is going to fight fight others off or either fight them fight others off from you or from them or both um i do feel like this person's going to keep trying to um give this cup of love you know i feel like that maybe they were trying before and but because of the secretiveness and all that stuff you weren't trusting it yeah and you know you're not really to blame for that because then that can look like player behavior and that's like trust and safety or the foundation of a strong healthy loving relationship if that's not there then there can be no real relation not even a healthy one right so that feels like that's what the issue is the four of wands is all about foundations and structures okay and that's really the crux of the reading it's not that you don't love this person or you don't or they don't love you i feel like that's there but there was i don't know what the secrets were what this person was not revealing but that caused some kind of a wedge because you know like without full disclosure if there's secrets in a relationship between two people um like everybody has <laughs> everybody has their thoughts and things right it's a good thing we can't read each other's minds everybody has their thoughts and things but keeping people out of the loop when it comes to your relationship um hiding feelings not sharing them um being secretive on apps not um oh, like not letting someone into your phone <laughs> um doing crazy stuff like that like obviously there's that drives a wedge in a relationship and i really feel like that's what the issue is here there was a lack of transparency so for you virgo it's kind of like well i really can't do anything we can't connect we can't bond if there's like this huge wall between us it's impossible people in healthy relationships have to bond that's that's what makes them healthy so yeah virgo and and here's this person going to come in and try to make that bond with you and try to heal and repair everything you know um I feel like it's going to be a surprise. I feel like it's not what you expect. I think some of you are expecting this person to just kind of come back in and touch base with you, but not really come with a bloody stump. No, I feel like they're they are going to do that. They are going to come with some kind of, like, that's the judgment card for me. I stand naked before you. Here is me completely and everything, and I will tell you everything. I don't want to lose this. I don't want to lose a connection. What do I have to do? You know, and Virgo's like, cut off your leg. <laughs> cut off your leg okay so ten of wands in the reverse so yeah there's definitely like the end of a struggle showing up here in march okay the burden becomes lifted a lot of you are lifting that burden yourselves a lot of you are just like uh, it's just too stressful i don't want to do it anymore i'm done with it okay and the ten of wands reversed it's like i'm taking a break okay i'm finally saying no i'm i'm lightening up and i'm giving myself the freedom to just be free like at this point that's all it is it's like i don't even feel like you are like okay i want to be free to be with somebody else it's more like i just want to be free from the the guessing games and the struggle and the stressing about the whole thing right if if you've been in that position okay so let me move on to my moon pie tarot cards okay let's see what other messages there are here for you okay so you have good friends so this is definitely an energy of like really paying attention to your friends staying connected to really good close friends and people who support you surrounding yourself with those people okay and you also have the moon in reverse here so this is an energy of um 
things becoming more clear to you as time goes by, right? The fog begins lifting in March, which is great. Um, you can have some light bulb moments. Things are going to come to you like, oh my gosh, I, I forgot all about that thing. Um, you're on definitely on your way to some wealth, health, and abundance because you're lifting the blocks as you go forward in the month of March, everything that you need is on the other side of your limitations, right? We, you know, we're often the biggest obstacle to our success. Um, nobody else is because everybody else is busy with their own success. So nobody's trying to stop you here. I feel like the biggest obstacle is yourself. Once you like, <clears throat> excuse me, are able to take a look and see where your self-limiting behavior <clears throat> is keeping you from crossing over um, whether that's fear um, you know fear is usually the crux of everything um, whatever it might be um, as soon as you get yourself in a position because it's sideways so it's it's starting to come around it's starting to turn around once you get yourself in that position to be able to access your wealth good health and abundance um, you'll have it okay you just have to kind of get out of your own way there Virgo all right um, <laughs> you definitely need to endure and be patient with yourself as well I feel like you're struggling with that um, but here's the chariot energy it's time to take action okay and trust your intuition for sure a lot of you are struggling to trust spirit trust God um, the answers will come to you when you do um, wait for them to be revealed don't go seeking um, answers the more you seek the more you'll find and then the more confused you will get okay arguments and separation right and that's what I feel like happens when you go seeking answers and because if you were involved with someone who's very secretive your mind now needs to fill in those gaps and then um, the things you could think oh my goodness Virgo if somebody like falls asleep and doesn't call you back some of you might think this person's cheating you know it, it's like but that all comes from because someone was not being transparent and open and honest when people are transparent those thoughts never ruminate they just don't so there might have been a lot of arguments and separation because of somebody's lack of transparency okay so you're definitely needing to move to a safer place or a safe space within yourself and this is in reverse so it means that you're just on your way you're not fully there yet you're definitely icing out the past energy so you can be able to do that and have a new passionate start everything's in the reverse which is fine because it means it's on the other side right it's on it's on the way it's there for you okay oh and you're also going to get a message from an admirer all right hmm. who will be asking you something and waiting for an answer okay so somebody's going to ask you a question someone who admires you it could be this person it could be somebody new asking you out on a date um this person is not trying to test you they're not trying to test your boundaries or test your it's not a test of faith or anything like that okay this is just a very simple message from an admirer who's going to be waiting for you to answer a question that they're going to ask you like either out on a date or getting together to talk okay there's no trickery connected to this it feels sincere and it feels real and then you also have reevaluating your career <laughs> for some of you it could be um uh well there's something here to do some of you are thinking about changing your job or your career maybe just moving to a different department or changing careers altogether um, in March you could be taking that time to reevaluate if you want to keep doing something or this line of work or do something new okay yeah the thing you're in now there's a lot of challenge to it it's very challenging could be very sh a struggle type of position or a lot of competition for others connected to this might be why you're starting to reevaluate things here all right let me see your messages of love all right messages of love what messages of love does Virgo need to know here okay past life love your soul remembers this intense connection so as far as love goes there's definitely a past life this just confirms this past person um, showing up in March wanting to fix and repair the relationship um, it does feel like after you are like completely finished the cycle is complete 
what else? Okay, protected. You are safe and divinely guided. That's good. That's good. I like that. It's something for you to remember that you are protected, Virgo. No matter what you think, you, you are okay. We have a card that flipped. Where did it go? Huh. Did it flip back in the deck? Oh, support. Lean on your inner circle during this time. Yeah, that's it, Virgo. Lean on your friends. Lean on the people who are close to you and the people who support you, for sure. And you have here and now. Your true love is already a part of your life. So, Virgo, ay, ay, ay. some of you are just, you've been waiting for this and hoping that this past life person would actually get it together. And it looks like at least in March, maybe for 50% of you, not all of you, but someone here is going to have that revisit and a restart. Um, I don't feel like there was infidelity or anything like that. If you know for a fact there was, then this probably isn't your story. If it happened one time, maybe, but if it's like a pattern for this person, probably not something that you should reconsider. Um, because that's generally the exception to the rule. If someone has a pattern of infidelity that you have evidence of time and time again, um, you should cut your losses and find someone who is going to honor and respect you. But if this person is someone that, you know, either never did that, but was very secretive and didn't try to give you reassurance about something, um, that's a little bit different. Um, and if they did cheat one time and they come in and they're ready to like clean their ways, they've had a Jesus moment, what have you, yeah, then maybe you could, this could be your reading. But I wouldn't really, don't sit and gaslight yourself and say, well, this person beat me up and they cheated uh, like a hundred times and all, but you know, House of Virgo said I should give him another chance. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. <laughs> And you will never hear me say that. And anybody that like try to blame me for that, get the hell out of here. That's never going to happen. No, no, no. <laughs> All right. Island time messages. Let's see. You know, it's so funny. Things have gotten so worse as the years have gone by. I just have to say, when I first started doing my readings, I mean... <laughs> So many people who would listen to my readings like on my other channel years ago, these issues, narcissism, the big N-word, that wasn't even talked about. I didn't think, I don't think I even started mentioning that until maybe 2018, 2019 was the first time I ever started mentioning that word. Um, but before that, it was just people being selfish, you know what I mean? I mean, I just, I don't know. I wish it just isn't that way. I, I, because I feel like even if somebody is narcissistic, I mean, at the end of the day, they're just very self-centered and selfish. And, and that's really all like you need to know. And also like if they are super N or selfish, the, the real answer is, or the real question is, okay, well, what about you? You know, cause you can't fix another person. So like, what are you doing for yourself? That's like, it doesn't matter what anybody else does. It matters what you do. All right. Island time messages. Okay. Well, you have camera. Somebody's reminiscing. They have your photos as a keepsake, definitely in their phone or somewhere. Um, definitely learning from the past. Um, somebody's looking at your pictures or looking at old pictures of you and them together, maybe on trips or places that you went together. Um, wants to make new memories with you, create new memories. Okay, and you have passion again, insane chemistry, liking each other equally and having fun. And you do have fun times. So, you know, this person looking at your pictures and stuff or wanting to make memories could be somebody from uh, somebody new here that you could be having a good time with. Okay, but there is a reminiscing as well. So it could be a little bit of both. Um, let's see. And paradise. Wow, amazing. Sorry, I can't show you the cards. I mean, if I could, I guess you kind of could see them. So happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. I love that. So it looks like, I mean, looks like you're going somewhere, maybe taking a trip somewhere tropical, um, having fun and taking a lot of photos. I feel like that's the overall message there. Um, 
Let's see what your Romance Angels messages are here. Okay. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Okay, Virgo. Letting go of the past. Making peace with the family stuff. Very important stuff to do. Just accepting it. Saying can't change the past. Learn from it. And loving yourself first. Awesome, Virgo. So you got that going on here, Virgo. It feels like these the past two weeks have pretty much been like your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive, Virgo. It's like you're just not in doormat mode <laughs> at all. I don't I just see you putting yourself first and taking good care of yourself and loving yourself first. So I like that energy about you. Like you're really doing the work, Virgo. You should pat yourself on the back because you deserve love. You deserve the ultimate and the most love anyone can give because you are lovable. Like you 100% deserve that. You have to remember that, that you are worthy. All right. Despite codependency issues, if you have dealt with codependency issues, you know you can heal from that, right? Like you can heal from codependency and get better and not, and, you know, and learn to have boundaries and, or learn not to be a people pleaser or things like that. For some of you, that's a strong issue. People pleasing. That's a trauma response. I don't know if you know that, but people pleasing is a trauma response to some type of abuse of some sort. Um, people please others in order to gain validation because somewhere in the past, they were taught that they were wrong <laughs> um, as, as a person, that them even being born. And maybe you dealt with that, but... You know, that's a trauma response, trying to gain validation outside external validation because having a desperate need to be um, accepting, having others accept you might give you a false sense of accepting yourself or the other person. But when you start accepting yourself, then you don't need that validation anymore. It's nice when people say nice things, but you don't sit in a position of needing that because you, you love yourself and you know your worth. You know, so it all comes down to self acceptance, really. One more for Virgo. Okay. And yes, this is your soulmate. Okay, so you definitely have, that's twice now. Yesterday was a soulmate, something to do with the horses. Now you've got soulmate energy showing up here again, Virgo. All right, let's do your charms and look at some numbers. All right, Virgo, so you have Scorpio, Cancer, Capricorn, twice. Okay. So somebody is 50 years of age. Um, somebody's birthday is on the 8th. We also have someone who's 41, someone born in 1969. Um, we have the number 211. Or one one two, and also, all right. They're giving me the three digits, but you can change them if you want. It's two three four, a four three two, three four two. Blah 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 blah. You can change them all up, but it's the number three, the number four, and the number two. All right. Let's see. Okay, Scorpio again. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, major air energy here. Okay. <laughs> also saw 111. Okay. Somebody is 53. Um, 2012, significant year. Um, I'm picking up 810. Um, hmm. 10103. 10103. Okay, let me get some August, September birthdays. All right. So, September 21st, September 13th, um, September 2nd, the 23rd, September 6th, the 3rd, I think I said that, the 4th, the 5th, the 10th, um, August 24th, the 23rd, the 26th, the 25th. Also August 31st. 
Okay, and I got 69 again. Um, 1989, 1980, 80011. I'm picking up 1991 and also 1971, and they're giving me um, September 17th. Okay, one more shot with the Zodiac. All right, Leo, Capricorn again, Virgo, and Sagittarius. Okay. Did I do the Chinese signs? I don't think I did. Okay, and then I'll do your charms. Okay, Chinese signs, show Virgo. Either Virgo's Chinese sign or their person or both. All right, starting with the year of the dragon. Year of the monkey. Dragon and a monkey. Dragon again. So double dragon, significant. All right. We have year of the pig, year of the rat, year of the ox, and two more for Virgo. This could be you, this could be your person, both of you or none of you. So if it's not, it doesn't mean it's not your reading. Okay, year of the dog. All right, and year of the goat. Okay, and we'll do your charm and then I will get you guys out of here. And you guys, don't forget, if you want to get a personal reading with me, there's a link in the description box below this video. Just click that link. You can book your reading with me. And also, don't forget to put a like and subscribe on the channel. All right, so what the hell's that? Oh, that's a fish. That looks like a trout or a bass. I don't know. It's spotted. I guess you guys probably can't see it. It's like some kind of spotted, spotted fish. I don't know what a spotted fish would be. All right, let's see. You've got a moon with a star. You've got a heart with a keyhole. Green leaf. Okay. And I have never seen this before. And I don't know. It looks like some kind of heart with decorative design, like a cake. All right, so one of the messages here. All right. Now this spotted fish, it could be a lure for a fishing rod. Maybe somebody is a fisher, woman, man, a fisher person, <laughs> likes to go fishing, catch fish, okay? Definitely, um, that's someone, like they always wanna go fishing when the weather's right. Maybe they ice fish, um, but there's something, it's, it's very dis distinct, this person. It could be you, it's just somebody like is big on fishing. That's their thing, they like to do that, okay? It's like their sport, their go-to outdoor sport. There's also a leaf here. Um, so somebody could be connected to the, um, marijuana medicinal community in some way are connected to cb what's it called cbt cbd i don't know what it's called connecting to um growing that or doing something with that and also um somebody they're just saying somebody's like name is either adam or eve <laughs> because they just gave me an image of like the fig leaf kind of thing I, like take it for however it resonates. Um, maybe that somebody's like last name, first name, middle name. I don't know. I'm just picking that up here. And and I am getting something here to do with a decorative cake. So either somebody like does something with cakes, decorates cakes um, as a hobby or does it as a living, um, like for a career. Um, that's a very difficult um, stressful job. It could have something to do with reevaluating the career here, but there's definitely, I see like all these beautiful decorative designs on cakes, cookies is bakery kind of thing. Somebody's like really into that, really likes to do that. And, um, yeah, there's like a crescent moon, the moon face with a star. Okay. Um, that feels to me like uh, they're just telling me Disney. 
So I don't know if there's a connection to Disney, either the place or the shows or something, characters, Disney characters, something along those lines. Strong connection with Disney um, or a strong connection with like the moon, like a crescent moon design of some sort, definitely. Um, and then there's like um, a black heart with a keyhole, but there's no key here. Okay, so this feels like, you know, somebody's heart is like jammed, locked shut, and only the person with the right key is going to be able to open it. Now, maybe um, somebody has like a, um, like a padlock that's shaped like a heart. I don't know. Is that such a thing that uses a key to open it? It could be a lock um, that somebody wears and another person holds the key, like as a charm on a necklace or something or on a bracelet. And... Um, Oh, there's also, um, yeah, okay, so they're just saying, like, there's something very precious to another person, and there's only one key to unlock all of this abundance, this, these precious jewels that are hidden away. There's only one key. Um, I don't know who has the key, but the key is missing. Okay, and now... They're just also leading me to um, somebody might find out that a key to a particular lock or door or something is missing. Um, somebody comes home, goes to open their door, their key is not there. Or they go to open their car door, the key is jammed, the lock is jammed. There's something here going on. Maybe that's just like in a, in a very mundane, everyday kind of thing message. That there's if, if you if that's happened to you or you find that happens in March sometime something to do with a missing key or a lock that's broken um, think back on this reading because I do feel like this is definitely a strong message that this is your reading um, if you experience that or if that's happening to you right now or has recently happened to you this is all about you and and the energy is playing out here for this month and also, um, remember I was talking about opening, um, unlocking the keys and the, um, removing the blocks to your abundance. It's on the other side. Yeah, um, I feel like <laughs> the lock is there, Virgo. You have the key. You you have to find that key, right? That that's your that's your homework, <laughs> Virgo, to finding the key to unlock what's on the other side all of your blessings. They're over there. They've been sitting there waiting for you. You know they're tapping their fingers like when the heck's Virgo going to get here we've been waiting why does Virgo keep sabotaging what's going on you know your lesson your homework is to find the key to unlock all your happiness and abundance nobody else has the key but you all right Virgo I'm gonna leave that there I hope that was eh, interesting to say the least and yeah if you guys don't forget to click like share and subscribe and I will be back here tomorrow to do another episode of your amazing reading um well, if you think it's amazing, then I would be very happy. If not, it's okay. Come back. Maybe tomorrow it'll be amazing. Who knows? All right, you guys. So I'll talk to you all later. Bye. Bye.